three hours. Five hundred feet. Turn right onto runway road. Hey everybody, it's Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. We're going flathead catfishing in Pennsylvania. Uh, four days ago, our boat sunk off the coast of Old Lyme, Connecticut, in Hatchet's Reef, where we uh, were wearing our life jackets and clutched the cooler and waited for 911. It's quite an emergency uh, adventure, and um, we lost lots of equipment, eight rod and rail setups, and more. But the best thing to do is get right back out there and go on another fishing trip. So we stopped at Cabela's and got some cool food. Make this trip good. Got some fries. Yeah, Cabela's treats us well. We told them about the mishap and um, they work with us. Anyway. That's an elk burger. One has pepper jack and one has cheddar. That's an alligator so bayou sausage sandwich. Bayou. We gotta have some fun. Catfishing is about four hours from our house, and we still probably have what three hours to go. Oh yeah. And uh, it, there's so much flathead catfishing going on there that the brim are hard to catch. Their local ponds are have less sunfish because the flathead guys are catching them for bait. It's also the flatheads being around and they eat a lot. Of oh, them. right. But yeah. So the flatheads themselves the and yeah. people fishing for flatheads are decreasing the population of the brim. So you have to go out of town to get brim. But we stopped at Cabela's and got eels. And we should be set with some good eels. Yeah, we're going to try some meals this time. So, we're basically just going to go there and fish all night and then come home. Yep. Kamikaze run. That's what that's called. Yep. Kamikaze run. Yep. I'll be doing a video about all the what happened when our boat sunk. I lost all my action cameras. My verb has a... Uh, I can get my verb replaced at Best Buy. This camera wasn't working. I went through all my cameras and it started working again. So hopefully we can make a little video. Check out some foliage. Connecticut. Are we in Connecticut still? Must be. Note to self, don't buy Red Bulls at rest stops. So I have mine. That, mine was $2. The, last, the other ones were all good. I like, I like my Red Bull. Right, right.
that in the water. Huh? Okay. Coming. But wait, there's more. See if I can get some bait. There certainly ain't no brim trying to attack this here worm like there would be in the Connecticut River. Not a spot that looked like this with all this brim potential. Lost a lot of rods in the ocean the other day. Eight of them. This beauty I built in 1992. Fenwick Honey Blank. This thing's mean. Combine that with my old pen slammer. It's a flathead machine. Deadly. Big giant number eight gummy. Am I on TV? Barely. Yep, so I got a fish finder rig. Probably know what that is. That's so my weight's gonna slide freely. Up and down the braid. Well, we flathead fished all night at one of the spots we found. You know, we don't know the area well, but uh, Sean and Jeff had just come a week or two ago. Sean! Yo! You bell! <coughs> uh, just come a week or two ago and they caught a few. And this is the spot where uh, extreme Philly fishing fishes. We've seen them fish right here. So we moved down to Philly. Trying here. Nice overcast day. Might get another shot. We each just had a small hit. So uh, who knows what that is. Brim are hard to come by. Hard to come by. Tiny ones. That's all we could find. And we have some eels. Here's my rod. Mm. 
It's one I built myself in 1992. Had to pull it down, put it back to use. Cast some mean eel or uh, sunny. Hey. There's a fish on. Yeah, you are. Yeah, baby. Got the camera on and everything. Extreme Philly fishing. It's a good fish. Do I get a real mine in? <laughs> no, I think we're good. Huh? I think we're good. Sweet. Sweet. Now it's good video. They're known to come up and then dive. Yeah, I'm watching you. Let me watch the. Uh, look at oh, look at him, dude. Decent. Oh, it's not yeah, he's, he's decent. Cool, huh? Is that a channel? Yeah, it's a flathead. Hope it's a flathead. It's a flathead. Nice. Cool. Yeah, it Can is. Yeah. That's probably what I was getting. Shoot. I think there's a lot of them. Yeah. Maybe smaller, but you might get a bigger one. Never fished in Philly before. <laughs> That's for sure. We slept, uh, kind of napped on cots at a different spot while we watched our poles. Well, we're still here. We've landed one catfish, one flathead catfish, and uh, Sean right now is trying to get some supplies. We're having our braid broken off. Uh, it must be hitting the rocks. We don't know what's going on, but we've had two good sized fish on that we lost, and uh, a couple just break-offs like the lines getting cut on some smaller fish so the action was reasonably good but uh, we haven't landed much yet so he's gonna try to get some more bait by catching it he's gonna get some food he's gonna get some stronger lines some barrel swivels and uh, I'm just gonna sit here soaked in my uh, last round of clothes so stay tuned.